played by DJ Limso. To all of you who have been asking me, what's my playlist? Where do I get my music from? Just go on SoundCloud and look and search DJ Limso. You would love his music. I absolutely do. Now, now first off, I have hijacked my nephew's room. He's been so kind to share it with me. Um, since I've been here, it's been really nice. Atlanta is really, really beautiful. I've had so many messages from you, kings and queens, and I'd love to answer them. Yay! So let's just go right into it. So this one is from Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Queen. Hi, Mama. Welcome to the United States. I want to know how your stay has been so far. What are the things that you like and don't like in America? Wow, I mean, since I got here, so the weather has been cool but nice. You know, I really like Atlanta. Atlanta for me is the image I have of the future of Accra, you know, when it gets developed. I love how the place is, you know, I love the people here. People are really nice, and I just think it has this energy, you know, this energy that this allows you to grow, you know, if you put your back into it. I think, yes. Um, so how has america been uh, america has been good you know coming from ghana or africa there's always this image of america even before you even know america you know they, they there's this story that's told about america that everything is perfect it's greener pastures um it's like the heaven on earth you know so before you even come to america you like it or you fall in love with it before you even get here so yes i do like america um america is really interesting it's a very interesting place a uh, very fun place very nice place and um it's cool the things that i like well i love a lot of things about america um the first thing is you know constant electricity you know it might not seem like something you should be you know looking at if you live here and you're used to electricity you think that oh it's just part of life but other parts of the world electricity isn't like you know it's not as constant as this especially where i come from so um i think that the electricity is something to envy the fact that it's just there you don't even have to think about it like who gets up and thinks about getting a generator here in america nobody but back at home you have to think of a generator when the lights goes off, you have to think of your refrigerator, your TV, and all the things that might be getting spoiled whilst the light is going off. If you're African, you understand me. But here, there's nothing like that because you have the electricity. It's there. You don't even think of it. It's a part of life here. But back home, it's not. Oh, and so it's nice to have constant electricity. You don't realize how much of an opportunity constant electricity is and so you don't have it you know and so i think it's pretty cool that you have that here in america i really envy that i like the fact that there's flowing water water is a necessity it's part of life the fact that you can just open the top and there's water flowing out is you know it's luxury you know it's luxury you don't have to walk i remember walking to fetch water even when my parents moved to Accra, we lived in this area called tantra hills and there was no water there was no water in that area years ago when we moved there so i remember i used to walk from my house and my dad built a house on a hill and so i used to walk with the gallon like you know those yellow gallons yes and put it on my head and walk all the way down to like i don't know is it a um, a mile or so you know and then to fetch water and back and 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 oh it's such an experience if you do not have to think about that come on you are blessed okay so first of all you are blessed and i do love a lot about america now if you're hearing some background noise with my children yes i came here with my children so that's why i haven't been shooting much you know there's not much time to shoot 
I have to spend more time with the kids. Um, a lot of people ask me, oh, why don't you move here? And, you know, why don't you, why don't you prefer America to Africa or to Ghana? And I'm like, you know, no, it's, it's very different. You know, back at home, I have help. There's everyone who's willing to help raise the children and raise them right. And, you know, here it's different. And it's not just about the money. Yes, it's expensive to have a nanny here and all that. But not just about the money. The fact that I'm just paying you to take care of my child is something. In Africa, it's done out of love. It's not just money. Somebody can come and stay with you in your house and take care of your children their whole life. Like your auntie in the village or your cousin in, in, in after school or something can just decide, you know what, I'll help you. And they'll spend time with you, invest their time in you, raise your children, you know, and... I think that that's something that you can't get here and that's something that that matters to me because you can't do it alone you can't raise children alone i know i can't you know that it takes a whole village you know what i do not like about america hmm well i will not use the words do not like because i'm a pretty open-minded person i'm always eager to learn very interested in things that i do not know you know so no no don't like but maybe a little uncomfortable um i think it's the way the um the young the young children speak to their elders i have seen a number of children speaking to their mothers and i just felt like whoa you can't try that at home you know you can't talk to your elder like that you will be smart like you don't you don't just open your mouth and just say anything but i know it's a cultural thing because it's just our culture children cannot just speak to their elders anyhow you know you have to think before you talk and you that's your elder you sometimes don't even have an opinion and i know that you know it's considered bad over here but back at home that's how we raise our children we raise them to respect um their elders and and so it's a bit different it's it's there was this time that i took my children to the park and then um there were some older kids maybe like 12 11 12 13 and her mom had just come to call her and a friend of hers and you know she really yelled at her mother it was some kind of argument i didn't really understand because you know the English is very it's very different from our English so sometimes I don't understand everything but I think that made me very uncomfortable it's just different cultures I understand that it's an American thing where children are allowed to express their emotions or express the way they feel to their parents when it happens but back at home it does not happen that way you know you can't just express your emotion you know, you need to think before you talk. You can't just say whatever when you're talking to somebody older than you. You know, so that's that's different. It's it's very but it's fine. It's the American culture. It's not everything that you would like when you come home to my country, Ghana, or to Africa. There, I'm sure there are a ton of things you'd be like, oh my god, no, take that away from me you know but um <laughs> that's my american accent take that away from me guys take it away <laughs> so yeah i know let me know your thoughts i hope you're having a lovely day kings and queens kisses from me i have to go make dinner for the kids now